Oh man, it is the Review Crew collaboration again. Oh, time has flown. You guys, it's pizza time. Let's do it. Yo, 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 what is up everybody? This is Big Daddy D back here with another food review for each and every one of you players out there. You guys, today we have a special video. It is another edition of our Review Crew quarterly collaborations. Um, if you guys didn't notice, I was not a part of our last one. Um, the first one I've missed throughout the whole entire time, but I had good reason. I promise, forgive me. I was uh, spending time with my, at that point, only couple day old firstborn uh, child. So he is happy, healthy, and is doing so well, you guys. But we're right back on it today. And today we got pizza. The crew has chose pizza, man. And when you said pizza, I knew exactly where I was going to go. Welcome to Lucky Slice Pizza here in Clearfield, Utah. Pizza by the Slice. Today I am trying their seasonal sweater weather pizza. Looks like it comes with sweet potato pumpkin puree, mozzarella cheese, pecans, crumbled bacon, and a maple glaze. You guys, they're known for their crazy pizzas, but this one might be pushing the limit. Now tell me that ain't the most unique pizza you've seen. I mean, I know that people get pretty creative with pizzas, but we're putting pumpkin puree on a pizza. Man, like I like pumpkin, I like sweet potato, I like everything that's on this, but uh, something is just really scary about it, especially with the cheese involved. We're gonna have to give this a try. I also got a slice of their like margarita pizza, which is kind of one of their most popular pizzas, so you can take a look at that in case the other one isn't so good, but that's what we're here for is to review it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm sure as you guys heard me in the last one, it is pizza by the slice. And let's start it off real quick with the margarita pizza. Each slice is roughly $5, but let me show you why. Oh, they literally serve you a pizza the size of the plate and it's just on a paper plate. I'm talking like a regular paper plate. There's tin foil toppings to it, man. This is the margarita pizza. And oh man, that balsamic sauce on the top, you guys. Um, we won't really be reviewing this one today. You know what? Maybe I'll take a bite of it for you guys. Let's go ahead. Okay, for another representation. I got a big ass head, okay? Look at that pizza. Look at it. All right, let's get in. Hmm. Cherry tomatoes. Mm. A real thin crust. One of their most popular. One of my favorites to get as well. Bruh. Now let's get into the real thing. Okay, you guys. The smell that I am getting from this pizza is actually like super good you guys know it's got the pumpkin and sweet potato puree as the base for the sauce then you got mozzarella cheese you can see it on there you got spiked or spiced my not spiked it's not alcoholic spiced uh pecans as well as bacon crumbles and a maple syrup kind of like sauce that's in it too you guys i don't know what exactly to think of this but I'm not gonna lie, it actually looks good. It smells good. Let's give it an honest try. All right, you guys, pizza number two, down the hatch. Oh man. Something weird about having pecans on your pizza, you know? What y'all think? You know, the pumpkin potato puree, it's actually not very strong. And I think that that's a good thing for this pizza because you still get a, a heavy bacon, a heavy cheese. There's a notification. You still get a heavy bacon and heavy cheese uh, flavor from this. So I appreciate that part of it. Something about having pecans on the pizza, kind of cinnamony. I don't know, man. This is taking me into a world of flavor, but I guess that's what makes people write home, you know? It's gotta be flavorful, man. Look at that pizza, man. Pecans all over this thing. Pecans, pecans, what do y'all say?
Mm. You know, let me say this. The flavor actually works, believe it or not. It's just the idea of having pecans on a pizza. The texture is kind of weird with pecans, but it's still kind of a crunch. Still pretty good in my opinion. I like it. You know what? I'm going to give the Sweater Weather Pizza from Lucky Slice here in Clearfield, Utah a, a 3 out of 5. It's good. It's just a little weird, a little off-putting, but not in a bad way. The flavors come together actually just fine. But uh, I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. But that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Remember to check out the rest of the Review Crew's collaborations. They're all doing pizza, you guys, and there is a lot of pizza out there. So you guys definitely give it a try. I just wanted to show you these massive slices of Lucky Slice Pizza. If you ever come to Utah, definitely got to give it a try. But that's going to be it for this video. Uh, sweater weather pizza. Kind of? I don't know. Talk to y'all soon. Peace.